Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Today I am going to be taming my very first Carcharodontosaurus. I have tried this a couple of times so far and failed miserably, but I learned a lot and I think I finally have a semi-foolproof plan going forward. So just to bring everyone up to speed in case you didn't know, the premise of taming the Carcar is to first trap it, then drag a dead creature over for it to eat. Once it eats a certain amount, it will be rideable. At that point, you have 600 seconds to ride around on it and kill as many things as you can in order to fill its taming bar. The catch to this, however, is that it also becomes enraged with each kill, and once the rage meter reaches 100, it will throw you off and you will need to start the process over. Note that you will not lose taming progress when it throws you. In the attempts that I have made thus far, it has been impossible to fully tame one in a single ride. That is, at least with my current game settings. Real quick, here are my current game settings. A couple of people have asked to see this, so here it is. I will admit I am not super knowledgeable about the game settings in ARC. I have made a couple of changes in here over the years based on advice from other videos I have seen. Kind of just basic things to make my single player game a little more forgiving and a little less tedious. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, more specific questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Shout out to Nooblitz and Raz Clark. Their videos on this subject really helped me out when I was trying to figure out what to do. Uh, if you haven't seen their videos yet, I highly recommend going and checking them out. But, who am I kidding? If you're watching my videos, then you have definitely seen theirs. So based on the research of other content creators, it appears that the taming progress that the car car gets with each kill is based on the creature's max health. For example, and these are just arbitrary numbers that I'm throwing out here, a creature with 1,000 health may only give 1% taming progress, while a creature with 10,000 health may give 10% progress. Let's go over the plan. To make taming the car car less painful, I'm going to be feeding it some baby spinos to get it to the ride stage. Once it is rideable, I'm going to throw out some leveled adult spinos, unclaim them, and kill them with the car car. These are mutated boss fighting spinos that have 20 health mutations and around 50 levels dumped into health as well. I'm using spinos, but you can use rexes if you want. Just know that the higher the drag weight of the dead creature, the more the car car's ride meter is going to fill. A single Rex or Spino should be all that is needed to get it to the ride stage. I already have a huge army of these guys, so that's why I'm using them. They're easy to replace. My hope is that a couple of adult Spinos will be all that is needed to fully tame up a car car. We shall see. I'm bringing along two Spino eggs, almost ready to hatch. We're going to need some torches to finish the job, as well as several metal gateways, bear traps, and a firearm to shoot the car car with. Quick disclaimer, I did admin spawn in this car car here on RAG. I have had zero luck getting them to naturally spawn on this map. However, this is a normal spawn location for gigas. So we're gonna hop off and go ahead and start setting up our trap. In my experience, the bigger the trap is, the better. They tend to get stuck and bug out when the trap is too small. Finally, throw down your bear trap. We're going to make sure that our mount is set to passive and we're going to move them back to a safe distance. We do not want to lure the car car over into the trap on a mount. We want to do this part on foot. Now, boy, you get on over here. Oh, here he comes. Nerd. Oh, God. What the heck? I couldn't lay down the last gate. Uh-oh. This is for calling you a nerd, isn't it? Please don't run away. Oh, all right, we're good. All 
All right, now we're gonna throw down our torches so that we can hatch our eggs. These are S plus torches, so you don't need fuel in them. Throw out the spino egg. Should hatch almost right away. Like so. Whoa, we got twins. That's unfortunate for them. Go ahead and euthanize them. Baby dinos sometimes keep moving after you kill them. You won't be able to drag them until they stop moving. Alright, start taking him over. Notice how he's sniffing around. That's the sign that you want to see. Uh, I recommend not putting a gate between you and the car car when you feed it. There we go. Notice the green hexagon. That is the ride meter and it is full after a single spino. So now we're going to go ahead and throw out the adult spinos. Go ahead and unclaim them. So he's still stomping around over there, but um, he's okay. We can we can still hop on him. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one alone for now. I want to see just how much progress two spinos is gonna give me. So now, as you can see, we run up and press E, and we can ride him. Forgot to remove the gate. Now we're going to go ahead and just kill both of these. And let's see just how much progress we get. Uh, okay. So around... 20, 25% each. Okay, so three spinos is not going to be enough. I'm going to put him back in here just so he can't get away. Unclaim the third spino. Remove the gate. Now. Notice in the bottom left that little blue meter, that is his rage meter. Uh, unfortunately, it's almost full. So he's about to throw us off as soon as we kill this uh, third spino. We're going to get thrown off and we're going to have to do this over again. Not a big deal. I'm going to throw this gate back down so he can't get away. And finish off the spino. There we go, he yeets us off. Never fear, I brought a backup. This is why you want to bring more than one egg. So we'll throw that out, hatch it up real quick. Uh, oh, it's too far away. Ignorant. Here we go. And now, another baby spino must die. Drag it over, let's see if he starts sniffing. Yep, okay. Come on, eat it. All right, so he totally bugged out and just got stuck on the fence for several minutes. I even dragged a Carno over to him and he still refused to eat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reshape this cage a little bit and see if I can get him off of the uh, gates. So just build this area out a little bit and then I'm going to pick up the uh, one that he's stuck on right now. Run it over to the back. Yo! He straight up waited until I opened up the pen. Like, no man, I'm bugged out, I'm stuck man, help me out. Sucker! Uh, you know what? Alright, screw this. We're just gonna drag it over to him. Let's see how this works. I have not done this before. 
Let's see if he'll eat it or he will eat us. Give us a little sniff, love. There we go. All right. I think we did it. Hooty hoo, we are ready for round two. Now for this one, we're gonna have to do it the, uh, I think this is the intended way that the developers uh, plan for, is just to ride around and uh, kill wild creatures. It is a lot slower this way, but we can get it done. Since we're already two thirds of the way, uh, we can definitely get this done in the 600 seconds allotted. Here we go, ladies and gents. This is it. This is it. Yes. I now have a Carcharodontosaurus, the last creature they will be adding to Ark. All right. So let's find this saddle. So, I guess I spelled it wrong. Okay. 96. 75 Engram points. Build it at the smithy. Bam. Now let's throw this old boy out and see what he can do. Uh, real quick though, I want to change his name. I'm going to name him Switchblade. Because he's got Switchblades for teeth. Toss on the saddle real quick. All right, your left click is a bite. Right click, you get a tail whip. Feel some knockback. Also, you can roar with C. And finally, killing things will give you a buff. And if you roar around your tames with that buff, it will buff them with something called incited. Finally, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the car car with a Giga. They're pretty much exactly the same size, but the car car is a whole lot better looking in my opinion. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Carcharodontosaurus, the last creature that they will be adding to Ark. All I can say is that it's been one hell of a ride. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos. Drop a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. I greatly appreciate all that stuff. Uh, love you, bye. So which blade? Get the point.